A century ago, the idea of a hovering train may have seemed far-fetched. But as the modern age has taught us, nothing is impossible. How fast is too fast for our eyes to see? Did you miss it? Let's slow it down a bit for you. Still didn't catch it? That's because it's traveling at a speed of 600 kilometers per hour. What does it feel like to travel that fast anyway? Well, we have some examples for you to put things into perspective. To travel 1,000 kilometers, it takes an F1 car 3.3 hours. For a Fuxing high-speed train, it takes 2.8 hours. While for the EMS maglev train, it only takes 1.7 hours, just 20 minutes slower than an airliner. At speeds like that, you're basically flying. Engineers charge the electromagnets under the train to levitate the train. It's almost hard to believe, but it's all based on the principle of magnetism. As we've all learned in school, the colors of red and blue are used to mark the magnetic poles. Based on magnetic principles, when the bottom of the train is electrically charged, the train achieves traction and voila, we have flight. While running, the maglev train needs to overcome the acting force applied by its own weight to the levitation gap because an excessive gap between the train and the track or a gap too small will have an impact on safety. Through a series of sensors, the maglev train controls the electromagnetic field down the train in real time with a speed of over one megaflop consistently maintaining the levitation gap between 8 to 10 millimeters. It truly is something out of a science fiction. And in China, this aero train has a unique application. Due to its vast territory, China's metropolitan hubs are usually 1,500 kilometers apart. So traveling by maglev train is faster than high-speed rail and more convenient than an airplane. The coordinated development between regions requires not only corresponding economic strategies, but also the support of modern transportation. And if the maglev train is any indication of what's to come, who knows what technological miracle we'll see next. This is Fantastic China.